You know one thing about Jamaicans? Jamaicans are extremely enthusiastic about their car stereos. And living in Toronto, where there's a lot of Jamaicans, I think I would know. See, to a Jamaican, the most important part of your car is not the brakes, it's not the airbags, it's not even the tires. The most important part of your car is the stereo. Seriously, you could see a Jamaican guy driving down the street in an 89 Honda Accord with two missing hubcaps, a, a door that's a different color than the rest of the car, a garbage bag for a back window, and a big bumper sticker that says, my other car is a push car. But, he still has a top of the line 25,000 watt stereo system that's worth more than the car itself. You know, you feel the shock wave from the subwoofer 10 miles away long before you ever hear the music. It's like that scene in Jurassic Park, you know, with the little glass of water, and the little glass of water would start to ripple whenever the T-Rex got closer. It's the same thing. You know, you have a family sitting down for, to dinner, you know, and all of a sudden all their glasses of milk start to ripple. A wife then says to her husband, Daryl, what is that? Daryl then says, oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. Kids, kids, I don't want to scare you, but I need you to take the dog and run under mommy and daddy's bed. I think a Jamaican is coming. Damn it, Daryl, do something. The vibration from the bass is making my cervix dilate. Wait, I have an idea, honey. Jamaicans can't see us if we don't move, so we'll stay absolutely still because a Jamaican's vision is based on movement. Damn it, Daryl, you're still moving. I'm not moving, damn it. The bass is making me vibrate, and also it's milking my prostate. Seriously, though, Jamaicans, you do get a little crazy with the bass sometimes, all right? And anyone watching this, remember, if you ever have a beverage and it starts to ripple, it's because of a Jamaican's car stereo, which can only mean one thing. A Jamaican is coming.